they should write down reversible and and irreversible process. Chaitanya, what is reversible process? So one where go back. And what is irreversible? <laughs> <laughs> I am not asking you to say that. Reversible. The basic English. So stuff like spontaneous. Ah, tell me. Ruchi, tell me. Yeah. So, uh, reversible is like you, you can trace every step what is the formula of work done? Minus P extended dv. Basic formula of work done here. B1 to B2. Because we are considering external pressure. Pressure of gas here. Physics of plus liquid work done. Plus delta V. But here the thing is what? If you have this system, okay, here we are considering the pressure of gas actually. P of this gas which is there in the system. And this is the external pressure. Right? So in physics, we'll write down P external dV. We'll consider external pressure over there. And this P external is equals to minus P of gas at equilibrium. Take a don't know opposite of the positive or negative. In chemistry, we'll consider pressure of gas dV. Let's go to Mr. Amelie Kogel to minus K. Take a whole reason. So here we are considering the pressure of gas, but in physics we will consider the external pressure. Okay. Uh, that is not my uh, problem. Okay, because we are considering the work done by the system actually. System to work around, system to consider on work around, mostly. Maybe that is the reason. But why plus minus here? Because we here we are considering pressure of gas and physics will consider the external pressure. We are considering the system actually. So system to come for that's what we are Okay. Now, I have a question. I have a question. Okay? You must have done the derivation. Kya hua tumne? Kahi bhi kya likhte hai? Somewhere, like, write this as kabhi external pressure ko bahar le liya, and this dv ko integrate kar diya. Aisa hua kuch expression. Yeah, in school. Mein. And then in some of the cases, we'll don't take this p external out. When we can take this p external out? When it is constant. So when it is constant and when it is variable, that you have to understand first. Right? So irreversible process जब भी होगा, irreversible process में external pressure constant होता है। ठीक है? So when you do not understand these two, why we will discuss that? What is for that you need to understand what is reversible process and what is irreversible process. But we will discuss that. What is reversible and irreversible? The point is, whenever you derive work done in irreversible process, you can take this p external out. So we'll write P external into delta V is the work done in irreversible process because P external is constant. Why it is constant that we'll see. You see two different situations we are taking here. We have a piston cylinder system. This is very important. They ask questions on this conceptual theoretical question they also ask in irreversible and irreversible process. Suppose we have a piston cylinder system. Right. And here we have gaseous molecules present. Okay. Now what you do, obviously here we have some uh, equilibrium, P external is equal to what? The pressure of gas, this equilibrium, then only it will be static. Now what you do, we are disturbing this equilibrium. So when I here, I will take some sand, like one bag will have in that, oh just, just what I'll do, we'll put some weight onto this piston, which was at equilibrium initially. 
तो विल टेक सम सैंड इनटू दिस बैग और इसके ऊपर रख दिया ठीक है ये है सैंड पार्टिकल्स सो व्हेन यू पुट सम वेट ऑन टू दिस दिस पिस्टन विल कम डाउन राइट कंप्रेशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड व्हेन इट कंप्रेस इट एक्सर्ट्स मोर प्रेशर ऑन टू द पिस्टन टिल विल गेट द इक्विलिब्रियम हियर अगेन राइट सो हियर वी हैव अगेन गैसेस मॉलिक्यूल्स कंप्रेशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड एट दिस पॉइंट व्हाट हैपेंस दिस पॉइंट दिस प्रेशर ऑफ गैस इज इक्वल्स टू द एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर ओके राइट सो व्हेन यू पुट दिस बैग ओवर हियर ऑल ऑफ अ सडन दिस पिस्टन कम्स डाउन because we'll have some pressure this will have some weight component because of that we'll have some pressure so basically we are applying some pressure into this and all of a sudden it comes down and when equilibrium is maintained it stops yes. correct now what do you do here you take one one particles out from this sand continuous ek ek karke bahar nikal rahe hain you are you are decreasing the pressure now so this will slightly go up yeah. step by step you upar jayega so this process when it is going very slow in a forward direction this process is reversible process okay it is reversible process but when you put this sand bag here all of a sudden it comes down right it is very fast right so this is irreversible process so you can take the sand bag off ha kar sakte ho ki to yahan aa jayega but then then you won't understand what is reversible and irreversible process i am trying to make you understand what is irreversible and reversible process when you remove this weight very like small small particles if you are removing so indirectly what you are doing you are decreasing the pressure by very slight amount by dp amount right so this piston very slowly goes up even you cannot even you know uh, observe that piston is actually going up but it is going up right so keep on removing the sand particles it slightly goes up so this process by which you can achieve this uh, state again this process is what it is a step by step process and this is a reversible process so why it is why we can achieve the previous step into this the particle that you have removed pull it again you'll get the same state right so this process is reversible process all of a sudden it comes down it is irreversible process so they ask difference between irreversible and reversible process into the exam board exam like even if i take it off it will get back to that point yes yes so in in that just reverse it but then the pressure was constant yeah, that's what we will will we'll discuss that actually irreversible process also maintains equilibrium irreversible process also maintains equilibrium but only at initial and final state irreversible is the external pressure constant yes see actually the second point is what when you put some weight onto it so it comes down because of this pressure right so this is the external pressure now and this is constant throughout when it comes down from here to this point that is why the external pressure is constant in irreversible process so easy to go back yeah and since you are continuously removing sand particles so pressure you are changing continuously so external pressure is not constant here you understood this point right you are continuously removing the particles so pressure you are changing continuously so hence the external pressure is not constant in reversible process ha but the pressure is in a function of the volume of the gas yes it is that's why we will get different expression of work done in reversible and irreversible process the gas will not move back no we are actually this is this directly you understood this is some pressure you are applying and you are decreasing the pressure slowly that is it theek hai is it clear right so there are there are four five important points into this okay the first point well first you write down the irreversible process heading write down the irreversible process and one by one you write down these points irreversible process it is unidirectional irreversible process unidirectional means it cannot be reversed it cannot be reversed along the same path easily same path easily next line write down in this only write down work has to be done work has to be done on the system work has to be done on the system to restore to restore its original position means to restore the position of system original position of system it has finite number of steps it has finite number of steps 
one particle you remove, that is one step. Another you remove, second step. Like that. Okay. So it has finite number of steps. It is a very fast process. It is a very fast process. System. Next point. System at thermodynamic thermodynamic equilibrium. At only initial and final step. System is at thermodynamic equilibrium at only initial and final step. External pressure is constant. External pressure is constant. So since we have equilibrium only at initial and final position, so we can apply PB is equals to NRT at only initial and final position. Right? PB is equals to NRT we can apply at only initial and final position. Next to write down reversible process. Irreversible it is constant. Next is reversible process. It is constant only, you know, you see, you put this back, it comes down all of a sudden. So this is irreversible process, very fast process. So it comes down according to, because of this pressure that you applied, applied pressure applied by this bag, external pressure that you would apply. Okay, so it is constant, whatever this value is, it is constant throughout. Right? Next point to write down, reversible. Reversible is what it is, bidirectional. It is bidirectional and can be reversed. Bidirectional and can be reversed along the same path easily. There is no external work required. There is no external work required to restore the system. External work required to restore the system to its original position. It contains infinite number of steps. It contains infinite number of steps. Very slow process. Very slow process. The system is in thermodynamic equilibrium at every step. The system is in thermodynamic equilibrium at every step. The external pressure is not constant. Okay? So if you see the graph of reversible and irreversible process, Expansion takes place, yeah. right? So this one is V I, and this one is V F. Expansion means what? Volume increases, right? So the graph is this. This is the area we have here. Okay. It will be this graph we have. We have two different graphs here. <laughs> Tell me which one is reversible, which one is irreversible? First one is reversible. First one is reversible, right? Wait, first one we need. Second or third, it's changed. No, no, these two. 
This one is reversible or irreversible? Irreversible. And this one? Irreversible. Irreversible. So this graph is for irreversible expansion because the volume is increasing. So it is irreversible expansion. And this is irreversible compression. Wait, see, here what happens, you see the initial pressure. First of all, you tell me, this is the case of expansion or compression? Expansion. So we should give the arrow like this, right? So the expansion of it. Otherwise, we have to give it like this. Initial pressure and final pressure. Okay? Yeah. So it is decreasing, so expansion. Okay? So here what happens is, PI, since it is a graph like this, means at every point you are decreasing the pressure, right? You are decreasing the pressure. So suppose if PI is initially here, where you decrease it up to this value, right? So since pressure you have decreased, so obviously we will have some amount of expansion. And what is the expansion we have? This is the expansion. When the pressure is this, further you decrease the pressure, again we will have expansion till here. Further you decrease the pressure, again we will have expansion. Right? So you see all these steps are involved into this. So number of the steps involved is 1, 2 and 3 if you take for these three instead. Okay, so continuously we are decreasing the pressure and expansion takes place. So this graph represents what? This graph represents reversible expansion. Reversible expansion. Okay, reversible expansion. Just opposite of this. PI will be here, PF will be here. Ah. So, but if you break it down into steps, then it becomes irreversible. No, like instead of the curve, if you had those steps, then it would be irreversible. Why it is irreversible? Because of the steps, it is reversible. Yeah, exactly. If the steps tend to. No, we are. See, this change, if you are considering delta P, which is tends to zero, right? This is for a very small change. I have given this to make you understand. Yeah, no, 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 sir. But if it was actually like that, like if delta P wasn't tending to zero, then it's irreversible. Yeah, if you if you are considering this, so it has infinite number of irreversible process. Yeah. Infinite number of irreversible process that you can see. Okay, but the process is very slow, and we have infinite number of steps in them, and each step will be in equilibrium. Here, if you increase the pressure, goes here, it will have the same uh, volume corresponding to this point. Uh, because in this, the graph is like this. This graph means what? See, the actual graph is this. It is going like this. This graph means what? At this pressure, the volume is this. At this pressure, the volume is this. At this pressure, the volume is this. So pressure and volume has a relation into this. Pressure and volume has a relation. Right? It is not constant. यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है देखो? Initial pressure यहाँ पे था. All of a sudden decrease किया तुमने. और graph ऐसा हो गया. तो ये हो गया इसमें. Right? So यहाँ पे this pressure and volume is the pressure is independent of the volume here. Yeah. Because the process is irreversible. Initial volume was there. So shouldn't the volume? If you draw like this, it means pressure and volume is related to each other, which is not the case. What we do? We just put the pressure, put the bag over there, all of a sudden it comes down. So this is constant pressure. PI and PF related by one direction. Yes, yes, yes. So when you put the pressure over there, the sand bag, all of a sudden it comes down like this. Right? So here we have initial pressure. You put the bag, it comes down to this. And then the expansion takes place. Got it? Now from this state, if you remove the bag, it goes up. This comes over here, it goes up all of a sudden, and this is the case. Right? So work done if you calculate for a reversible process. First of all, you write down this. The formula of work done is always integral of minus P external dV. This is the always work done formula. Depending upon the process, will apply the condition. Okay, so work done for reversible process is what? Reversible process, the pressure is not constant. So this P external we cannot take out of the integral side. So that will be what? That will be P external dV. This is for reversible process. 
will do one derivation of based on this also, right? The work done in irreversible process is what? Since P external is constant here, so we can take this P external out, and this becomes what? V2 minus V1. So in general, if I write work done in irreversible process, it is always minus P external into delta because P external is constant. Copy on this.